right, it's the morning. It's the AM. Nose is a little bit sniffly. But I got coffee brewing, so we're good. Let's continue. Starting to feel the uh feel the pull back into the game, which is good. I wanna make a Ideally, it'd be good to have like a to-do list that I write down next to the computer so I know what we're working on. Um, I think we're going to, I want to work on getting, uh, getting the cords out of there, out of the, out of the cave, He's somewhat closer to the base. Doesn't need to go all the way to the base. I might just, uh, have a little have a plan for you know where it's gonna go it needs to make silica out of it and now I'm just making sure I have some of everything which I look looks like I do sometimes too much of everything gonna need lots of wire because we're doing power lines all the way there. So I'm make sure I get the three full stacks of this. Concrete. Hmm. Hopefully that's enough of everything else. I don't need this stuff, but get one full stack of that. Okay. Did we forget the the different rebar? Or is that the thing that needs smokeless powder? I think it does. So we'll do the oh man. What up, fella? We'll do the um, quartz first, and then worry about the creating smokeless powder, which requires getting fuel over here. Cave entrance. Okay. So maybe we'll just bring bring it down here. Sort of just an idea. I mean, there's room in the in the. Maybe we'll just take it to the copper tower or the copper platform. I mean, because there's plenty of room on that platform. Oh yeah, weren't we gonna make jetpack first? I'm gonna see if I can make the jetpack first, because that would be awesome. It might involve smoke. It might require smokeless powder, which. It does, probably won't do it, but... Oh wait, this is a milestone. Let's see what it requires. What is this? Packaged fuel. Okay, we got plenty of that. We just have to go get it. And the fastest way to go get that is to ride the tubes. Take a quick ride on the hyper tubes. I'm actually gonna go check on my coffee during this.
think my coffee's done. Be right back. fuel. I'm not really sure how much. Also, I'm pretty sure this whole facility is shut down because we don't have enough storage space for packaged fuel. Yeah. So what it's doing is... Is this stuff? Fuel. Wait a minute. Really? Oh yeah, it's turning the purple fuel... It's turning this into fuel. Okay, I might do something else while I'm here. Because it's basically residues going in here, turning into fuel. But I also want to package... Um, the residue fuel. <laughs> Which seems gross, but... So, like, if we line it up... Oh, wait. But we have to get plastic packages in here somehow. Why does that seem so tall? think. So if I'm going to run down... Um, hello? Well, I guess if I'm going to run down this next to it... And the packager... really be like I guess I can do a little S bend it's okay so instead of turning like this I want to just use a splitter to move the uh, power pole. Sorry, I just really like right angles. Ugh. I'm gonna move these over. Oh, there's still room to go through. Hope this is even like a possible recipe. Let's see, it's... I want to do package... Packaged oil... Heavy oil residue, I think. Heavy oil... Is that what this stuff's called? Heavy oil residue, yeah. So now, I think what I want to do is build a fluid buffer. Kind of behind it. 
Try to line it up a little. Cool to like split it off up there, or maybe kind of high. Like, uh, where's the split? Oh, does this work? It's cool. Yeah, I like that kind of coming down at a diagonal. Auto, auto two D noodle, horizontal to vertical. I think I might want to do horizontal to vertical, so it will. Hmm. Oh well, we'll do that. And then these come in. And we destroyed a power line, so... Now, the whole idea was to make a storage chest kind of right next to this one. I think a bunch of stuff is on power right now. Not a bunch. So this thing should be working, but it's not because there's not room for it to work. I'm just going to grab a bunch of this. So that's packaged in a barrel. <laughs> that's weird because the canisters still look the same when they go in. So the fact that we're using some of the purple stuff means that uh, the plastic and the rubber should start to work again. Also because we took away the um, fuel. They took a lot of fuel back, so. Cool. So that's what I wanted to set up. And we'll just let it run. We'll come back here later. I think we're going to use it for smokeless powder. <laughs> Basically going to haul some of it over. I mean, we could belt it all. Let's run on the belts. See, there's the plastic. But I bet this whole belt's empty. I can't believe we made this whole thing so long. You can't even see the end of it. Still, I'm like constantly amazed by the vastness of this game. It's just like it's it's a world. You're in a world. Okay, this is random, but I'm gonna jump over here. <laughs> Bad. Only took one damage so far. Getting better at these things. It's like you kind of have to know the internal cooldown of them. Sure, I'll get this. Wow. Well, guess I'm building. Oh my god, I already fell. I don't actually use these power slugs, but 
still like collecting them. It's kind of like a little mini game, a little collect the slugs game. close to so the thing we want to do I'm looking at water mark too because eventually we're gonna need to add more iron to our whole system uh, let's go to the milestone first we got a bunch of packaged fuel in our inventory and then we'll see what is required to make a jetpack your pocket dimension and has provided a jetpack which operates oh, on metal based fuel for increased navigational capabilities as well as odds of survival I'm just gonna put all the fuel in here because I'm not sure what to do with it I'll put the quartz in here put the slug in here and then I'll make protein out of the alien parts put the protein in here also Okay, so, um, jetpack. I think we can make it. Um, consumes fuel. Awesome. So it has a little interesting. So when you land on the ground, it refuels itself. So I wonder how long we have in the air with this thing. And I think it might replace the parachute. So we need circuit board 15 and 5. I think we can just make them. Actually, we might have circuit board. What was the 5? Is that motors? Oh, I guess we don't... I guess we don't have circuit boards. Oh yeah, motors. I thought we had those in our inventory. Maybe we used them to create the packager? I, mean, I think it's five of them. And then 15 circuit boards. I'm pretty sure we've unlocked circuit boards. I haven't really messed with them yet. Yeah, there they are. Oops. Six of these. Oh wait, no, fifteen of these. All right, we got fifteen of those, and now we need one more inch, one more motor. I mean. Man, this is gonna be a game changer, I think. Oh, now we're a little bit low on plastic, so we gotta go get some more. Might as well refuel or refill up on rubber. Um, oh, wait, yeah, building the jetpack. Here we go. There it is. Takes 30 seconds to build. Actually, those aren't seconds. Oh man, I'm excited. Okay, so it uses fuel. Let's, let's get some fuel in there. So we've got two stacks of fuel. 
We're gonna put the parachute in here. Parachutes. Oh, we have empty canisters? That's unfortunate. I'll just dump them in here. Not sure how we got them. I don't think we need two stature stacks. Oh man, I think he just holds spacebar. Wait. Oh, is that it? Huh. So look at the fuel at the bottom left. When it's out, it's out. Huh. It's not fully... It's not like super... It's not amazing. It's not like... But, I mean, it's pretty awesome, let's be honest. Like, for example, I can fly up here. Whee! I wanted to look at this area. Yeah, see, there's some room here we could just use to, like, make the quartz into silica. And then bring it down somewhere over there to store it. Um, so, to start that process... I'll put a power line right here. And this will be our... I wonder how that works if you like use a tiny bit. Does it um, just use the whole can? I would imagine so. I think it'd be cool if they added to the game some kind of... Um, like industrial power pole or something it's like extra long extra long what am I talking about you know just like a big one like a giant tower although these already go pretty long but I think it would just look cool basically Hold on, let me look at the map real quick, because I feel like maybe we should go around. I'd rather go around on the low ground. Yeah, let's go this way. Probably going to be the same way I go for the car also. I'm kind of not even sure I want to do a car, though. This is probably Sam or oh, it is coal, but it's just pure coal. It's not a vein. It's a lot of it, though. not the right way. What? I could have sworn there was like a way to get there from here. Hmm. Maybe we have to go up first. Alright, well, never mind. Let's try up. Jetpacks can be so awesome. Um, I don't know. I'm confused now. 
Maybe now it goes to the left? It may be this. Okay. Alright, you know, you know one of my pet peeves is power lines. So we gotta cut this stuff down. It's got to go. Alright, good. Oxide. Nice. Whoa. You see that little X in the bottom left screen? That was like counting up. Wait, was it counting up or counting down? It was counting. As I was picking that up. Yeah, so it's 5-2-A-1. Now it's 5-2. Maybe it's like items in your inventory? Yeah, see it just went up by 5. Yeah, it's gotta be that. So I think I want to go left, like down here and around. Instead of up there, I want to go this way. Hear a spitter. I'm gonna go down, but I want it to not be cut off. Yeah, so not that far. Or we could just do it like top of this rock or something. Maybe right below the rock. Yeah, there we go. This is a weird little beach area. It almost looks like a some kind of religious ceremony. Is taking place here. <laughs> yeah, I dropped some of my stuff here. That's so weird. It looks like a potted flower. Alright, we're getting there. We're almost to the cave entrance. Where's the cave entrance? Is it up there? This is such a long power line. They have really cool, like, ambient noises. Like when you enter the cave. You get this like sense of like creepy it's like the the sounds of the waves stop but then there's like other sounds that start just those like tones echoing tones kind of all right now we got gas masks running I think I'm gonna blow up this rock real quick if I can. Yeah, I thought something might be behind it.
trying to build them on like kind of the right side of the tunnel so that if we drive it out or belt it out or whatever we decide to decide to do. It's so it's huge. It takes forever to walk through here. All right, we're basically here now. <laughs> Put another pole first. Let's get the slug over here real quick while I'm thinking about it. And what I might do right now, because it, oh god. That guy's like poisonous or something. God, these things are creepy looking. It's like every time I fight those, I get like chills running through my blood. be another quartz like down there the thing is there's like slugs everywhere that's the other cool thing i don't really care about getting all of them at least i say i don't but who knows next time i'm back here i might be like Ooh, let's build a ladder and get all the slugs so i think what I want to do is... <laughs> what time is it? Hmm. I think I'm going to stop it. However, um... Actually, okay, one more thing. I'm going to do one more thing and then stop it. So I'm going to build the truck station. It's pretty flat, but I'll do it on... Do it on a platform. Maybe like a four by four. Is that good enough? Ooh. That rock is in the way though. Rock might be fine. Let's see. Um I think the rock is okay. Do it like this. Oh, you know what? Fuel. Fuel, 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 fuel. Oh, it doesn't matter. It can refuel at the um, drop-off point. Obviously. That's going to be better. So... What is the, is it 120? Yeah, so we need a Mark II belt. Did these need power? I guess they do, right? I'm gonna build a power pole over here just to make it look a little better. In fact, remove that and do this yeah so the quartz is going in here and then the next time oh circuit board and motor this thing's huge though can it come in and out of this tunnel I guess it can <gasps> truck the tractor's much smaller the truck is huge
I guess we'll do tractor. Because we can establish the uh, the route. Don't we have to set this to something? Load. Yeah. Um. Excuse me. Oh, we have fuel. Okay. So yeah, the fuel went in there. Oops. Okay. Yeah. And then it it should be loading. Hmm. Oh, F to load cargo. I don't know how that's automated, but okay. Cool, cool. Guess we'll leave it here, and then um, we'll work on building a route back. After this, what is this corner? Hmm. Oh, it's a one meter corner. Does this work? Ooh. Check that out. I think that, wait, where was it? Oh, down corner? Interesting. Did that do anything? Pretty smooth. I don't really understand how this works in this context. Like, is there is there another way to like finish it or something? Like this. Uh. Oh, okay. That's interesting. So I'm like playing around with corners now. Um. <laughs> Shoot. I guess you could do that, which is kind of strange, but. So if we went this first. Ugh. Ooh, you know, this is what we want. Yeah. And then did a corner here. How is that any better? we blow this rock up? I don't think we can. Oh, we can. Okay, good. Anyway. Just um, distracting myself. So, yeah. Um, I don't know how rocky this terrain is. Uh, I might just belt it.
after all. Because <laughs> basically, I mean, either we belt it or we have to, like, really make a lot of smooth roads for this guy. Which I don't necessarily want to do either, so. Cool. All right. So we got a jetpack. See, it doesn't really go very high. You can't really use it to, like, scale cliffs and stuff very well. It's cool, though. Alright, yep, until next time.